Hello YouTube, back again with another DIY video, sorry about the quality, I don't have time to spend on video editing, but here's another one of my DIY projects, this was built out of a necessity slash being a cheapskate, but I think it was the right call, this is a press frame, you could build this in a pinch. I never had bought a press because it was an item I rarely need and so one day suddenly I did need a press so I whipped this thing up out of materials on hand it took uh, about approximately five hours if you include painting so it would have took me one hour each way driving time probably close to an hour in the store and 200 bucks to buy the cheap Harbor Freight press and it would have been a little bit smaller so I just whipped this thing up so what we got here that's just kind of a foot I added those in case I ever need to level it out some of them already had holes I could just weld on some kind of leveling nuts and bolts and the actual legs is all two inch schedule pipe I didn't even waste time cutting off this was all used pipe it had been used for temporary structure uh, for holding some stainless material together on a truck so it cost me nothing in materials to build this stand everything was either left over from other jobs or I got it free somehow or other including the paint so two inch pipe legs, saddle right here, that's actually where I pre-made some saddles with the plasma cutter but you could easily make those with a grinder uh, or you could not even have weld on saddles. You could simply just cut the pipe to length with the saddle but it's a little bit faster to have those made up and just do the weld. So yep, two inch pipe, T. Both sides were done that way. Up, I beam resting on that. Then another set of legs to hold the top of the press frame. These are just straight cut pieces of two inch schedule pipe. You could use whatever size pipe works for your application. I'm not here to give engineering uh, advice. But this press worked for me and another smaller I-beam. The reason I used these two different sized I-beams they were just what I had. They happened to be cut exactly the same length so they worked perfect and they were stronger than what I needed to press. It does not have a built-in hydraulic but it still works. So I simply wedged this bottle jack into there and put whatever spacers I need here and press against here you could also have the jack in the bottom there's a lot of versatility here but you also need to use caution if you do not set your loads together perfectly straight you could hurt yourself so this is not for the amateur it could easily be modified if I feel like the press would get a lot of use. I could easily modify it to have permanent hydraulics attached. As it sits I painted this thing and it will live its life outside most likely. I can't dedicate any kind of space to something that I probably won't use much. But yeah there that piece of angle iron does nothing. It was just attached to the piece of I-beam and I didn't want to waste time cutting it off. If I ever need it to look fancy, maybe I'll cut it off and clean it up, but probably not. So there you go. Budget of zero dollars. Five hours time. You could easily build this with a simple stick welder and an angle grinder. I used stick welder, plasma cutter, and... I don't remember what my straight cuts were on. We'll just say I used a... Uh, chop saw. Actually no we'll say I use an angle grinder because that's all you need. 
Those simple tools, you could save yourself 200 bucks if your time is worth it and you have the materials on hand. Alright, thanks for watching.